Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss one more table manipulation function in Power BI called as accept. First, let's review the syntax and then try to implement it with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Returns the rows of one table which do not appear in another table. The syntax, it takes one parameter, that's table expression. Return value, a table that contains the rows of one table minus all the rows of another table. So here are some remarks. So one important thing you should consider here is like the columns should be equal in two tables, the number of columns. If you do not have equal number of columns, like most of in our case, the tables will be different and uh, the column numbers will be different. We can use a selected column function and then make it equal and then use this function. Maybe with the help of an example, let's try how we can use this function in real scenario. I have this PBI file with two tables. I have a coaching details table and student detail table. So it has a one-to-one -one relationship and ID is the joint condition. So if I go to the data here, here is the student details table. It has a student's ID, student name, and the grade. And the ID is ranging from one to 11. You can see here, RJ, LX, et cetera. And I have one more table. It's called coaching details table. So out of these many students here, how many students took additional coaching classes? So if I go to coaching detail table, I have few students, they took additional coaching classes and also how many days did they go for coaching? Here it's duration days. So now let's uh, try to find out, uh, let's say the student who did not go to coaching out of this student's detail table. Let's, let's say example, we have Ajay, right? 1001. If I go to coaching detail table, he took the coaching class. And if I go back to student detail, I have 1002 Alex. If I go back to coaching detail table, I cannot find Alex here, 102 ID is missing. So what I'm trying to do is like, I want to find out all the people here who did not go to coaching classes. So that's the final objective. So how do I do that? So in this case, I can use a accept function. This is something like uh, if people who are coming from SQL background, we do uh, like a join and then use not in condition, right? Something like that. So maybe this example will help you to better understand. So let me click on new table here. And then I'm gonna create, give a name for this table called accept table. And now I need to use the function accept and then left table. So I need to use students detail table. I'm trying to find all the people from student detail table who did not go through uh, any additional coaching. And right table is the coaching detail table. So now if I hit enter, it will throw me an error because uh, the columns are not exactly the same. I have uh, different columns. So, but let's give a try and see what is the error we get here. You see, except does not support joining a column of type text with a column of type integer. Why this is happening? If I expand this here, I have grade ID and student name, but in this table, I have duration days, ID and student name. So duration days is a uh, integer and then student grade is a text. Right? That's why it's throwing an error. But I don't need all the columns. So what I'm going to do here is, I need, I'll remove this again. And then as I said earlier, I'm going to use selected column function. So I will select only the columns which I need. Okay, so I'll from our students detail table. So give the student details table and name. So I want the ID first. So I'll name this column as ID and then expression is I'll take the, I'll choose the ID from students detail table. So this is the student detail ID, okay. And then 
let me also get the student name from this table. Okay, so I'll give the table name as, sorry, the column name as student name. And then I'll use the expression student name itself, student name from student table. So this is my left table. So I'll do the same thing for my right table. I will use selected columns and I'm going to use the table coaching detail. Okay. And then I want to give some name for the ID. So I'll still give the same name ID. And then the expression you can see your expression, it's asking for an expression. So I'll use the ID from coaching detail table. And then I also need to give another name for the student name. So I'll call this as student name. And then the expression part here, I will do, I'll use the student name itself, student name itself. So now close the bracket and hit enter. Now I should be able to get the list of the students who did not go to coaching classes. As you can see here, I got the results. So Alex, Alex, Alok, Ian, let's, let's remember these three names, Alex, Alok and Ian. If I go to this coaching table, I should not be able to see these names. You see here, I don't have these students. So by using the accept table function, accept function along with combined with select columns, I'm able to get a list of all the students who did not go to coaching classes, okay? This is how we can use accept function combined with select columns function. So if let's say uh, if I did not have uh, the duration days and the grade, and I just had ID and student name in this table, and also ID and student name in this table, I, can, I could have simply used direct accept function. No need to use select columns. Select columns is required when the columns uh, the number of columns in two tables are different, when the data type, uh, even the column names are same and one column, uh, the data type is different. In that scenarios, I would prefer to use select column function and use it with accept function. This is how uh, we can modify the table and then use it in our calculation. Hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.